only greatness withstands the test of time, and such greatness is visible for all to see. Excellence, consistency, innovation and diligence. That is what APEC Consortium Limited has stood for and committed itself to over the past 20 years. It is said that uh, we have become major players. Our vision is uh, to be able to provide uh, world-class services to our customers, whether here in Kenya, within East Africa and uh, the whole of African region. Every success story has its beginnings when a decision is made to take up the challenge. For APEC Consortium Limited, this all started in 1995 with Engineer Matu, APEC Consortium Limited Chairman. It started uh, in 1995. It was an idea which uh, I came up with uh, after having worked for about uh, 13 years. Uh, with major consulting firms uh, in Kenya. APEC Consortium Limited did not always possess its current stature and it is the product of years of hard work and persistence. I got to a point where I found that uh, I needed to, uh, to go uh, higher than what I had become. We started APEC with three people. Chairman, Engineer Matu, is a civil engineer. Then we started the Prophet Sir Kanywa, who was a mechanical engineer, and then I was their director. Wakati tulianza, tuikuwa na hiyo project ya Marinde Airport, tukamaliza, hatukuwa wengi. Tuikuwa Mimi, Jinia Matu, Professor Kanywa, na Jinia Kasera. And our secretary was called Nirva. How do you tuikuwa na office? It was initially called Aviation Projects engineering company limited they were determined to make apec consortium limited a success and despite challenges they may have faced continued to march on we have done so much to be what we are today we started with very few projects we started with arunino roads wilson airport and uh, we continued going up and up and up until we started now being given international projects. The company had the potential for growth and therefore more people and expertise were brought on board. In 2006, December, when I joined APEC, we made a decision to increase our share in the market and to be able to provide uh, uh, livelihood to a group of people who are in engineering. Over time, there was growth. And uh, in the last 10 years, it's, it's been phenomenal. We have grown in bounds because by then we are probably handling one or two projects in a year. But now we've grown, we're able to handle as many as 15 projects. In order to comprehend how all this was achieved, it is crucial to first understand what they do. APEC Limited was mainly concerned with Avision Works because it was formed under the background of a vision project. We have been able to, uh, to do uh, the rehabilitation of uh, Wilson Airport. We did the design and we did the supervision of construction. At the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, APEC were able to get involved in the design and construction of the passenger apron for new Terminal 4, which has now been opened. Having gone through the baby steps and come of age in 2002, which was about seven years later, Engineer Matu and I considered that it's now time to expand the horizons and to be able to broaden our range of services and to increase our number of clientele. So we not only now intended to do aviation works, but also road works, water works, dam works, and any other project in the civil engineering. APEC is, um, is a leader in, um, in the infrastructure industry. It is a leader in that uh, a decision was made some 10, 15 years ago to have a bigger share in the market of the infrastructure industry in the whole of East Africa. And so we have our footprint in Kenya, which is the biggest share. 
we have footprint in Uganda, we have a footprint in uh, Southern Sudan, we have a footprint in uh, Tanzania. Like a well-oiled machine, Apex Consortium Limited has many moving parts that contribute to its final product. Apex uh, concept is the human resource is a critical aspect in the company. One of the things we have done is to make, ensure that we have we, we create opportunity for our engineers, our technical staff, our administrative staff to have an opportunity to grow. Maridi Airport was the first project for APEC Kufanya and now this drawing here is the layout plan or for terminal area of Maridi Airport. Where I'm standing is where the business development is. Here we do uh, expression of interests, we do uh, proposals, and uh, we also do get involved in the negotiations for the contracts when we have won the projects. In a year we do almost about uh, 60 proposals, 30, 40, 50 proposals depending on, on the business on that year. The machine just in front of me is the Prota machine that usually assists us in uh, uh, making such, such drawings. Uh, which facilitates in the design work where we go to the extent of making the book of drawings that is used by the contractor on site. Uh, our works is very broad that involves so many people including uh, environment uh, experts, that involves uh, some land experts, planners and so many other things. I've worked in APEC for, uh, this is my 10th year. It is a, a very good experience and also is the learning in that, uh, you know, every day you see a new thing. Uh, this is a farm that is engineering, uh, not a audit farm or other, uh, maybe a manufacturing farm. It is uh, when you mix with engineers, you try to know a bit of engineering also as well, and just a bit of experience in that field as well. I've been working for APEC Limited, close to I am three quarters. Uh, the experience, uh, I can say is amazing, yeah, yeah. and uh, you get to learn the input, the day-to-day -day things that run around the, in engineering. Yeah. Naitwa Jackson Moridi Morari, na nafanya kazi APEC Consortium kama driver. Kampuni yetu ni nzuri, inaendelea vizuri na tutafanyisha na kazi nao vizuri. At APEC Consortium Limited, Certain values and principles are prioritized in every single effort they undertake. We have a passion for doing projects which have a major impact to the society. We are providers of services, so we are servants to our clients and we are servants to mankind. This is the most important thing. So when we are working, we should always think that we are servants, and servanthood is actually sacrifice. These core values are well ingrained throughout APEC Consortium Limited. You only have to work like a team, loving each other, not inciting, and I know we can go far. Every member of the team abides by them. Fanyikazi wenzangu ngepena kuambia kwamba, sisi zote tujitolea katika kazini, APEC Consortium Limited have over the years carried out many projects, all of them matching the high standard they set for themselves. We started off with airport works and we, like we said, we did Mombasa Airport, Kisumu Airport, Wilson Airport, we came in back and did JKI Airport and um, we, uh, we did works in Tanzania, we did uh, several air trips in Tanzania, and now we are going back the cycle. We have partnered with with international um, experts in in doing works elsewhere, doing studies elsewhere. We then moved to roads, and we did multiple projects. Um, we have gone to water as well. Some of our experts are very good in water, and. We are recently excited that we have entered with a bang to the railway sector. We then can say, in terms of the various fields of civil engineering, 
we have touched on all of them, which is a sign of growth for a company. When you stop being just an expert, but now a manager in the various fields, then we are confident that we can handle any project or in terms of size and, and, uh, and, and, and a scope. And all these projects have had a great impact on the lives of many. The fact that we offer services at competitive rates, but services which are of international standards, makes our governments save a lot of money. Or the government would have to pay for expatriates two times our rate. We do it with half the expatriates rates and still deliver the expert uh, uh, standards. Besides getting the job done, APEC Consortium Limited also plays its role in giving back to the society, which is also a core part of what they set out to do in the beginning. Uh, APEC has been able uh, to uh, get involved in uh, CSRs, and uh, most of it has been in the education sector. We support uh, families who have no uh, finances, enough finances in education. We employ engineers who come from the university. So we relieve pressure from government in terms of uh, graduate placement. And we develop those engineers over time. We take them at the apprenticeship level. We offer them opportunities when they are from the university. To APEC Consortium Limited, customer satisfaction is important and therefore part and parcel of every project they undertake. Quality control is one of the major items that uh, a government, an employer, would really want a, a consultant to provide. And it is because the employer wants to have value for money. Value for money is guaranteed by quality. And the controls for the cost of the project. Those are the services that we normally provide. The good work has not gone unseen and has been recognized over the years. So how do they put the past 20 years into perspective? The last 20 years has seen the growth of APEC from a very small company to now a medium-sized company. But the journey has been very challenging. APEC is like a dream because we didn't know that we can be what we are this far. But I must say that we have come a long way. It has been a transformative journey where you walk by faith on something, you enter to the field the competi competitive field by faith and what looked impossible ends up being possible. The vision must be followed by the venture. With only a glance at the past, plans are already underway as to what the future holds for APEC Consortium Limited. We are in a stage where we need to grow. We need to increase our share in the market. I can guarantee our staff that the future of APEC is bright because me and you are present. We will work on proposals. We will do the best projects that we can. We will make sure our customers, which are our client, are satisfied. And we will make sure that the users of the facilities that we get involved in are proud to have APEC as the people who provided the services. I see a big expansion. I see as uh, being able to provide services not only within the East African region but beyond the borders of East Africa because I am seeing a big opportunity coming in because Africa today is uh, a big marketplace for development of infrastructure. And I think this is the remaining content, continent where infrastructure, infrastructure development is going to happen. And therefore, there are big, big opportunities. 
Thus, APEC Consortium Limited has laid a foundation for the next 20 years of achievement. Maintaining the same values held from the beginning, the next part of the journey has already begun.